line up uh, for our first block of speeches. And I'm happy to uh, announce uh, Helene Balamante first for the first presentation on corporate social responsibility, please. Hello, everyone. Let me first introduce myself. Uh, my name is Helene Balamante, and I'm a student at Liberal Arts here at Tilburg University. And today I'm happy that I can speak here on behalf of a team consisting out of 40 members, students and staff, who all feel that corporate social responsibility should be more prominent within our university. So what is this all about? Well, it's fairly simple. We want a university to take responsibility for their impact on society. We want it to contribute positively to the environment to labor conditions, to human rights, to gender equality. And we see that responsible and sustainable management is increasingly becoming the norm. And we want the university to embrace this. As an additional advantage, we think that corporate social responsibility, or in short CSR, has some very big financial benefits for our university as well, such as energy saving. So where do we stand right now? Tilburg University has, has made some very important advancements already. For example, on the field of gender equality, but there remains much to achieve. So by doing so, Tilburg University will become an example for its students and staff, making them the ambassadors for the world. Unfortunately, university, Tilburg University is not doing well at all, not doing well at all. Um, as you can see here, uh, this, these are the CSR rankings uh, of the last few years, and uh, it says that Tilburg University right now is in the bottom 40% of lowest scoring universities worldwide on the topic of CSR. So we're uh, just in between many universities from way less developed countries than here in the Netherlands. You can see we're just between Ankara University and the Al Zaytuna University of Jordan. Well, that says a lot, I think. Uh, and in order to stay globally competitive and also to increase our reputation, we should set an ambitious CSR goal in our strategic plan. More precisely, by 2025, we want Tilburg University, Tilburg University to be in the top 20 of CSR rankings, in the top 20, that is what we want to see. And we want to come in, be in company of Oxford University and other universities, such as in Wageningen, in Delft, and in Groningen, who are actually scoring very well. Uh, so to get there, the strategic plan should contain explicit and measurable goals to, to be achieved by 2025. What exactly should be those goals? Well, we focused on six points in particular. To begin with, we should increase campus sustainability through building sustainably by an efficient and transparent recycling policy, by minimizing waste and eventually strive for carbon neutrality. Secondly, food offerings on campus should provide people with plenty of choices to eat healthy, organic, vegan, vegetarian, halal, or just name it. Then, as a third goal, investments should be made in a res responsible way. We should in not any way want to do business with companies that violate the fundamental principles of Tilburg Uni University. So, for example, let's divest from funds that support the weapon industry or fossil fuels. Also, let's not forget that Tilburg University already has some great features, so let's use them. Um, our green campus could be used in order to increase livability, for example, by accommodating more outside working spaces. The Tilburg Center of Sustainability to name a very valuable asset within our university, uh, could take the lead in this, uh, and they could invest in, in they could invest in uh, projects, in innovative projects and research. Next, Tilburg University set itself the goal of character building, also very important. Therefore, bachelor and master programs should encourage their students to reflect upon ethical issues and to act responsible. By drawing the attention to sustainable initiatives, 
we can explore and show what sustainable solutions work in practice. In that way, we create a so-called living lab that allows for innovative experimenting. In addition to that, we should work together with responsible businesses to learn about CSR and to provide useful labor market experiences for our students. Finally, and most importantly, let's place our students and staff at the heart of this process. All these initiatives could greatly benefit from active student and staff participation. The university should encourage and facilitate these initiatives. And a green office, which is currently being set up, uh, could coordinate this and they could help us to share, to collaborate and to develop ideas. And in other universities, this system has been proven extremely successful so far. Addressing these points by 2025 would result in a significant step forward and it would demonstrate the commitment of our university to the community at large. So let's improve Tilburg University's current CSR rating and make it to the top. Uh, and so that the CSR rankings by 2025 will look exactly like this. We will not approve of anything less. Uh, and by then, Tilburg University <laughs> will have moved beyond understanding society toward leading by example. Thank you. So now we have already met uh, Wilco. Where are you, Wilco? Thank you. Look, uh, look a moment behind you for Wilco being there in full costume, uh, helping us with uh, Ora Est. Great to have you here. Helping us for timekeeping. <laughs> 